We've travelled to Wales today, just outside of Swansea, to Harlech Engineering, and they have a machine shop full of stars. And they have just purchased their latest star machine, the SR20 J2 Type A. Now, before we find out why and the reasons behind this purchase, we're going to catch up with Steve, the managing director, to find out exactly what this company is all about. Steve, what a machine shop. Tell me more about Harlech Engineering. Well, Harlech Engineering is uh, established in 1962, so quite an old company. But over the last few years, we've invested quite heavily, primarily because my two sons I've joined the company, so hopefully they'll uh, allow me to retire one day. Um, <laughs> but I wanted to invest heavily in the company to bring all the machines up to standard for them, basically. And you've rep replaced a lot of machines. In the last five years, we've replaced nearly every machine in here. So. And what you do notice, naturally, when you walk in here, you've really gone down the star sliding head route. Yes, yeah, there's quite a few reasons for that. Um, over the last few years, especially only two or three years ago, we had four different makes of sliding head machines here. Um, some of them came and went, but there was two machines we had here, 40 years old, which we only got rid of about two years ago, and they were stars. So I think, you know, at the end of the day, longevity, quality, something's gonna last. Um, so we invested in stars, basically, yeah. And you do have a little bit of a laugh around here, don't you? We do enjoy a laugh, uh, the two sons as well, especially, and uh, as you can see by my uh, <laughs> new employee behind here, uh, good old Danny. Um, basically, the machines run lights out uh, for efficiency, economy, uh, and he looks after them when we all go home, basically. So uh, keeps keeping them running an for eye us. on the machines. Yeah, keeps an eye on the machines for us when we go home. And what industries are you serving? We're quite diverse. So we're in medical industry, automotive, domestic appliance and general industry as well. So we, we cover a lot of different industries basically, which is good. Years ago, we were heavily into automotive, a little bit up and down, but now we cover so many different industries. It helps us to keep busy all the time, basically. So we're here at the latest purchase, the SR20 J2 Type A, and Josh, we've just caught up with your dad about the company. But I want to know more about this machine. What was the reason behind your purchase? Yeah, well, the reason behind this purchase was really to free up our capacity on the rest of the machines we got in the workshop. So we're making a component on this machine, which then basically frees up two other machines for us. So that's two the other ideal, machines yeah. because yeah. of one. Yes, yes. Why so is that? Capacity. So this machine itself is a lot quicker in general. The product we're actually making was machined on our Star 32J, which um, is a little bit slower as it's a bigger, a bigger capacity machine. Uh, the bar we're feeding is only half inch, so about 12.7 millimetres. So we put it on this machine, just the rapids alone saved about 30 seconds on this component for us, which, which is obviously what Star advised whilst trying to choose this machine. So um, that helped us a lot, but also this machine's equipped with high pressure through coolant and it's got bigger tooling capacity as well. So where our, whereas on the last job we were using ER16s, which is a 10 millimeter maximum diameter on the milling cutters, we can now go up to about 15 mil on them shanks. So it's a lot bigger, a lot more powerful. And so because of obviously it's bigger and powerful, you're making huge, you know, over volume, 30%. Is, yeah. That's a big saving. Yeah. yeah, it's a big saving for us. Yeah, it runs 24 hours a day as well. So it runs throughout the night, it's equipped with fire trace and, and everything like that for safety. But, it runs basically lights out for us making these components throughout the night. Um, holding tolerances as well. Um, it, this machine is more rigid than its than its predecessor, predecessor, so it's a complete different frame to our old SR20Js that we've got here. Say, say an old, not old, but <laughs> two years old. Um, and yeah, it just gives us that more stability really when we're doing stuff on this machine. Yeah. Talk us through the part and some of the features on here then. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, this is the component that we're making on, on this machine currently. So it's got a lot of features on it, which are, you know, it's quite difficult to machine, a little bit tricky. And what also, material is it? It's 303 stainless steel. Is so that easy? It's, it's, it's one of the better machinable stainless steels for us. But also, it's, it's still a little bit hard. So, yeah, it's, the, <laughs> it's keeping the tool like with the balance of time cycle is, is where we need the balance of it running all night. So on this component, we've got a lot of milling features on it and uh, turning features. We've also got a nice knurl on it as well. So it's, it's quite a complicated part to machine. 
and also to get running 24 hours a day as well. It's, it's a little bit tricky, but brilliant stuff. And it's interesting because you bought the machine based on this one component. Is there anything else about the machine that you like? Yeah, well, the machine is uh, it's quite a big step forward from it's the last model of the 20G, which we've got in all fairness. Um, the control is slightly different, although it's still Fanic and it's the same general model of Fanic. Star have got their own little macros and stuff in there, which help a lot with the programming as well side of things. Um, it's just a lot more user friendly in general as well. Uh, again, with the the increased sort of tool tool sizes we can use on it, and the more power we can take a better cut and, and tool like again follows suit. Then, yeah. You are really noticing a difference, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, we are noticing a difference. Say it's freed up two machines for us here in our workshop, and um, yeah, the the tool life increase as well for us is. Um, it's pretty spectacular on the high high pressure cooling side of things. It's no secret that you have used other brands of sliding head machines, but every single time you're coming back to Star. So what is it that they're doing that's impressing you? Of course it's the machines, but it's got to be more than that too. Yeah, um, I mean, personally it's for easy, easy use really within our, our company. Um, we bought our first Star going back about five years now. Um, since then, really, you see the increase that the productivity it did for us. Setup times are a lot less than some of the previous machines we've had as well. Um, everything's a lot more simplified on them for us, which which is brilliant for, um, yeah, let's say quick setup times mainly and changeovers are a lot less. And um, with having such a range of stars here as well, our programs generally can are interchangeable between the different stars as well. So for us to stick with star, has, has been the right move really, yeah.